Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up? Big Herc 916, getting down with Fresh Out. You can tuned in to another edition of Prison Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the channel, represent, and go to FreshOutSeries.com, pick you up some merch, grab you a bar of soap, and wash your ass. Now this story right here has recently developed um, Danny Masterson guilty in rape trial Actor Danny Masterson was taken away in handcuffs and will be held without bail until sentencing. And if you don't know who Danny Masterson is, um, he was the former That 70 Shows actor and was on trial for a second time in less than six months after his first trial ended in a mistrial. Um, yeah, Danny Masterson, man, um, looks like he'll be doing time in California state prison since this was a state crime and the white guys in the state prison do not play when you got that funny paperwork. He's a celebrity, um, has money, has a rape charge. It doesn't look good for him when he gets into the system, man. Because the white guys in prison, they don't play, man. Their their uh, political structure in there and the way they run their business is um, a lot different than some of the other uh, races in prison. Um, rape. I don't think it's something they take lightly. And he might be in a a PC yard, but from what I understand, they've opened up all the yards. So he'll most likely have to deal with somebody trying to extort him or profit from his celebrity status. His master and son could face 30 years to life in prison a sentencing date has not been set yet, but Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Charlene Olmedo advised Master and his lawyer to return to court August 4th for a hearing. Um, Masterson 47, initially faced up to 45 years in prison. He was found guilty on three counts of rape by force or fear on alleged sexual assaults which occurred between 2001 and 2003 at his Hollywood Hills home. Um, his actor wife, model Bijor Phillips, gasped when the verdict was read and wept as he was led away. Other family and friends sat stone-faced. Yeah, man. Um, you know, the Hollywood lifestyle, man. It could be a slippery slope, especially, you know, when you got people in positions of power and parties and stuff going on and who knows if there was drugs involved, you know, it's just, it can get real ugly. One of the accusers whom Masterson was convicted of raping at his home in 2003 said in a statement provided to Fox News Digital on behalf of attorneys with Boys Schiller Flexner, I'm experiencing a complex array of emotions, relief, exhaustion, strength, sadness, knowing that my abuser, Danny Masterson, will face accountability for his criminal behavior. Another Jane Doe said, I thank the jury for his service, and while I'm encouraged that Danny Masterson will face some criminal punishment, I'm devastated that he dodged criminal accountability for his heinous conduct against me. Despite my disappointment in this outcome, I remain determined to secure justice, including in civil court where I'm where I, along 
with my co-plaintiffs will shine a light on how Scientology and other conspirators enabled and sought to cover up Masterson's monstrous behavior. Prosecutors told jurors that Masterson drugged the women's drinks so he could rape them. They said he used prominence in the church where all three women were also members at the time to avoid consequences for decades. The accusers alleged they were hesitant to file charges due to the church's strict protocols against public involvement with member issues. Masterson's legal team argued that the acts were consensual and attempted to discredit the women's stories by highlighting changes and inconsistencies over time, which they said showed signs of coordination between them. Testimony in this case was graphic and emotional. Two women who knew Masterson from social circles in the church said he gave them drinks and that they became woozy or passed out before he violently raped them in 2003. The third Masterson Masterson's then girlfriend of five years said she awoke to find him raping her and had to pull his hair to stop him. Damn. Quote, we want to express our gratitude to the three women who came forward and bravely shared their experiences. Their courage and strength have been an inspiration to us all. Quote, end quote. District Attorney George Gascon said in a statement, while, quote, while we are disappointed that the jury did not convict on all counts, respect their decision. The verdicts handed down by the jury in this case were undoubtedly a difficult one to reach, and we thank the jurors for their service. End quote. Gascon, he added, we, quote, we also recognize that preventing sexual assault is critical, and we will continue to educate the public on the importance of consent, healthy relationships, and bystander intervention. We believe that by working together, we can create a safer and more society for all, end quote. Um, the jury heard closing arguments from Deputy District Attorney Ariel Anson on May 16th. Masterson was arrested in June 2020 and had been free on $3.3 million bond. Masterson pleaded not guilty to the charge as he was maintained his innocence. Quote, the defendant drugs his victims to gain control. He does this to take away his victim's ability to consent. End quote. Anson said, quote, you don't want to have sex. You don't have a choice. The defendant makes the choice for these victims and does it over and over again. End quote. Hollywood, man. I tell any young woman, young man that is out there partying in those circles, whether you're on a hookup site or going to the nightlife, hanging out at the clubs, be careful, man, and don't take drinks from other people. Even if the drinks appear to be sealed. I know of someone who had something from somebody and they said that they seen the person actually open the bottle in front of them. And they were actually drugged and raped and was embarrassed and didn't know how to go about um, seeking uh, justice in the situation. Um, this person, I guess, had a, you know, hell of a reputation. So it was another, you know, public figure and it wasn't how they paraded themselves around, but nonetheless, this person had been violated, uh, self suffered uh, emotional trauma, and um, man, it happens, man. You got some predators out there, and I've heard about it even in the gay scene. You know, I got friends that are gay, you know, go and party at the Abbey. Somebody gives you a drink and next thing you know, that person's being um, shuffled away in, a, in an Uber. So, man, um, you have to be careful, man. You, you, you think that people are out to have a good time and it may appear so, but their intentions are devious. And uh, 
you know, that's why I never drink, man. When I go out to parties, I always have water and uh, I avoid, you know, I, I avoid a situation where I felt that I could be compromised. And, um, I, you know, I, I've seen some, some scandalous dudes, man. Dudes who don't, you know, these guys are just, I don't know, over sexualized and, you know, they're, they're just on a different mental page, but I have values that I wouldn't, even when I was in the adult game, I just couldn't get down with how some of these people get down. But, you know, they covered this guy's tracks because he was in the Scientology church. And um, a lot of that plays a factor too, if you're a part of a group and uh, that's, that's uh, has, you know, whatever rules and they don't want it to come to light because it might expose other things. So, hey, uh, Masterson's gonna have a, a, a more than his, uh, I would say, dealings once he gets to prison. And, you know, this is a high profile case. So there's somebody in there reading this, waiting for him to show up on the yard. And it ain't gonna be pretty because, um, you know, for one, sometimes the guard's less to be known. So he might get exposed through a guard who puts him in the cell with somebody who can't stand rapists because maybe they had somebody that was raped in their family or he'll be put in the yard where there's somebody who's going to handle business. So he's going to have some reckoning to deal with, but um, just giving you guys a little heads up on, uh, yeah, going out there, partying with these celebrities, thinking it's all cool and you know drinking behind people going to people's houses that wasn't this wasn't even in the club this is at his house and you know you got to be careful man big herc 916 getting down fresh out stop walking around with a crusty butt smelly ball sack and a funky hoo-ha big herc said wash that ass pick you up a t-shirt at freshoutseries.com Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. I'm Big Hurt, and I have over a decade of experience in the prison system. Yeah, I've done a lot of time, made a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's why I'm here with you today, educating you on the Mastermind program by Fresh Out. See, they don't give you a manual when you go to jail on how to survive. They don't tell you how to go take a shower, where to sit at when you go to chow, what to do when you have mail call, how to handle your commissary. See, we cover that and a multitude of other topics that are very important, because if you do the wrong thing, you can get your damn wig split. We have over 100 million views as of date on our YouTube channel, but we've put and condensed all this knowledge into this mastermind program so that you can provide your client with a winning chance. Do yourself a favor and your client a favor and sign them up for our program so they don't have to get their wig split and they can make it out alive.